So test drive and development. Any one of you using that? Like, who is using? Have you used it in the past? Have heard about that? Yes. Uh, so, here we go. Uh, just a quick introduction. Uh, so I am Kapil Sharma, technical architect at Eastern Device here. I am working in Bharati in development since 12 years. This is my contact video. And all the slides you can uh, find in the, at the bnet.com slash Kapil Sharma. I will upload that slide as well. If you remove, yes, uh, everyone has attended the uh, session for you. But a simple uh, developers community in Pune. You can now uh, find other details on the site. You can have more website, gpmode.com, uh, meet a page for the RSD solution for our phone. And I mean, uh, our website is uh, developed in Laravel and it is open source. So if you want to see how to implement a few things, you uh, can follow all the best practices there. If you want to see how to implement Laravel, you can just go and check this out. So, test driver development. I think I have a definition from Wikipedia. It's a software development process that relies on repetition of very short development cycles. Requirements are uh, turned into very specific test cases, and software is improved to pass the new test on it. So, That is test for check. I will write a test case first, let it fail, then write the code to make that test pass. So, in that way, you will ensure uh, your coding just for your test cases, and that exactly is the test that we That's the summary. You write test, you make, uh, write the code to make that test pass, and then obviously the factor. Maybe you uh, do this cycle uh, three, four times and then a refactor cycle. Let's see a demo of that. So, there are a few uh, famous quotations I have taken uh, just a Google search. So, I just like few of that. All code is guilty until proven innocent. So, here guilty means uh, having bugs. So, until unless you prove it, so there are no bugs, the code has bugs. Then, uh, first solve a problem, then write a code. So, for example, uh, why do we write the code? Solve some of the business problems. Right? Uh, and I don't think uh, anyone go and uh, start writing the code. First, we have to think. So, write a test so that uh, whatever you are thinking, that is also documented. Okay, uh, good programmers write code for humans first and computers. So your code should be readable. Uh, when another developer reads it, you should be uh, able to understand it quickly. Don't fix it if it is not broken. So if you write a test uh, that is failing, then write the code. That means you are uh, fixing uh, the code because it is broken. So, test case is failing. And most important, quality is free. But only for those who are willing to pay heavily for that. So, yes, you have to invest a bit. But once you invest it, then your code quality, quality in general is free. So, what is free? It's a test first approach of software development. Well, first test and then write the code. It needs to think how to use first and how to implement that. So, whenever I am writing the code, I need to first identify how I will use that. So, my test cases are going to use that test. Uh, use that. And once you know how to use that, then only you will think how to implement that. Well, uh, here is what I have for that. Now, uh, have you, uh, there was a movie Star Wars, have you seen that? Have you heard about that? Very uh, good. That's right. Uh, so, actually, there is a demo, Michael Angelo right now, the speaker in the 
tempted to type something into a print statement or a debugging statement, write it as a test. So now let's talk about PHP. Now, in PHP world, we generally use PHP. Yeah, mostly PHP unit is used. So a short introduction, PHP unit is the port of X unit testing frame. So similar, uh, there's an X unit testing framework and similar uh, unit testing frameworks are available in all languages. In Java there is J unit, in Tontet there is N unit, and in all the languages uh, they are similar. In PHP, it's PHP unit. It was created by the Sebastian uh, uh, Bergman for any X unit testing frame. They use assumptions to verify the behavior of the smallest unit of it. Open source and posted on uh, GitHub. So if you want to see the source code of the unit itself, you can see it. You can install it using a bar or using a composer. Earlier there was PL as well, but PL channel are now dedicated in favor of composer. So assertions, there are lots and lots. Uh, so, I have uh, put track to some that are commonly used, but yes, based on the condition, we can use any one, but yes, these right ones are commonly used. So, as an array has, you have an array, you have to identify it, it contains a particular key, you can use it. As a count, you have to find a count of them, a collection or an array. As an empty, find a an array of collection is empty or not. Equals and same. They are uh, really similar. You just check the value. Check value as well as type. Like double equal, it is a triple equal. Assert false and true. And then say, identify a device statement is true or false. Greater than equal to, less than equal to. Instance of null. So these are the common assertions that uh, we use most of the time. But yes, additionally, I you can use any of them. So we might need. Okay, and then another thing data provides. Right, uh, if we let us uh, do work, there are a lot of things. Uh, we cannot cover each and everything uh, in a short section. But I would prefer. Uh, we'll, uh, there are few things, but I have a practical object. So, we'll uh, see that as a data provider. There are uh, conditions when you want to uh, test the same function for different set of inputs. So, there are options. Uh, if you want to set a test uh, function for uh, 10 different inputs, I think you write 10 different test cases. But, how many programs like this? So there is something called data provider. We define a data provider uh, for a single test. Then in your data provider uh, defines ten different data. So that test will be executed ten times with each set of data. Example. Uh, we'll see that uh, example in detail. So don't worry. There are some common things. Um, I need to uh, do test. Oh, that's a typo. I need to do the test. The uh, data class extend test cases. And this is one function. I'm simply testing the uh, addition and I'm doing it here only. So it has three uh, input, three parameters A, B, and expected. So I think expected to be equal to B and B. The data provider I want to test to send that so A, B, and accepted. So 0 plus 0, 0, that will pass. 0 plus 1 equal to 1, that will pass. 1 plus 0 equal to 1, that will pass. 1 plus 1 equal to 3, one. should say. So if we run that, we will say 
state as a deep curve that two matches expectancy. What we get? Um, we get two here for the calculation and expected was two. So expected three actual two. So there are four tests. There was not one test. We had a bunch test, but there are four tests. So four tests, four assertions. Each each time we have one assertion and one fail. Why fail? So in that way, uh, we can give that a provider. Okay, uh, then one more important thing, oh, we'll not go a lot of things, but uh, that is something important. So sometimes when your uh, uh, application is uh, properly architect, then there are multiple layers. There is controller, then there are services, models, and a lot of things. So there could be time when you want to uh, test a function, but that function is calling another function and you don't want to call that function. So in that case, you can walk the way. So how we do it? Suppose there is a class, a function to something, which is a ring function. Doesn't matter what this is. So I want to uh, I don't want to run that. So what we can do? This dot create mock and this class name. We will create a mock of that. Then we say uh, method create do something. Will return. So now after this code, whenever you call this method, it will simply return without any. So we can say assert equal to we call that method and that will obviously return. So that will be same. So this is just a short example. Mm -hmm. uh, that uh, there are lots of uh, method to extend uh, the behavior of mocking. Uh, we can disable constructor, we can uh, disable cloning, we can disable argument cloning. So there are multiple options. And even if uh, they are not a there are um, specialized uh, mocking framework like mockery. There are more. Uh, so if your requirements of mocking are too high, then you can uh, even use uh, third party mocking framework. So, yes, there are lots more to cover. We just uh, saw what uh, are the major. Uh, Features of uh, base unit, why it is important. So just uh, going through all the features, uh, I guess uh, it will better if we see a running example of that. So we'll go for the example how we set up a project, uh, how we uh, set up unit testing framework, how we start, uh, how we actually uh, develop by testing. So we'll see a demo of that. So till here, obviously there are many more things to be covered. So you can go for PHP unit talk. Uh, it has all the talks. Any questions? Well, uh, immediately after that, we'll uh, see that uh, demo of uh, daily development. But in basics, if you have any questions about PHP unit or PHP, 